Welcome to another episode of Are Your Designs Any Good? Introducing Are Your Designs Any Good with Shimmy Morris. I hope you enjoyed. I, I love this intro, by the way. I can't stop playing it. I hope you enjoyed the previous episodes and um, I want to get straight into this because I don't want to waste any of your time. I just want to say if you want to be a part of these episodes, then the link is in the description for you to submit your work to me um, so that I can actually critique it. As well as that, if you haven't already subscribed, the button is just below, guys. Come on. Just click the click the button and subscribe. And as well as all of that, I just want to say how these episodes work. They'll be about 15 minutes long, no longer than that. I'll get us through as many designs as I possibly can in that time. I aim to bring out one every single week on Saturday. And as well as that, I the way I'm critiquing these designs is in three criteria. The first one is what, what I think of the design. The second one is what I think of the targeting and how you can target the design. And the third is how I would improve the design. So starting with the first design, let's get right into it. Living the chilled life. Um, okay, so firstly, the mm, okay, what do I like? I like the font chilled life. That's about it. Um, the targeting, I, I have absolutely no idea who on earth you're going to be targeting. Um, let's have a look. I just, I just don't know who you're targeting here because it doesn't, I, I'm going to skip past the targeting bit. And then the improvements, the graphic of the champagne and the, and the champagne on ice is just really basic and looks really cheap. Uh, the two fonts living the chilled life, they're just two very different fonts. Don't like the fact that they're different fonts. And the fact that this has zero niche and zero targeting m makes this design a bit of a deal breaker for me. I wouldn't use it and I wouldn't tell anyone else to use it just because I have no idea how you would sell it. Unless, you know, you've got an Instagram page or a Facebook page or YouTube with this classic saying, living the chilled life. But if you don't have that, then I don't know how you're going to sell this. Okay, next one. Keep calm and vegan on. Okay, so this is, this is, I like, I like the, the four different uh, vegetables here. That's really good. You've got tomato, you know, I'm not going to list them all, but it's good, good, good vegetables. The font is pretty cool. Um, the comma near the M is a bit off because it kind of looks like it just blends into the letter M. Um, but other than that, yeah, it's a pretty cool thing. It's a very famous saying, you know, keep calm, carry on, keep calm and vegan on is a new one I've never seen before. You can easily target vegans or people who are into anything vegan related. That's very easy to target. The things I would improve is I would personally change the font. I don't like the fonts that much. The only thing I do like about the font is it does actually match the um, kind of vegetables, you know, the white drawn kind of font. So that's kind of cool. Um, so actually, you know, maybe I would keep the font. The only thing I would try and do is, is kind of like squeeze it a bit together. Maybe get rid of that comma um, because you don't need it. Even I don't know if that is a comma, but if it is a comma, you don't need a comma if you've got the and. So keep calm and carrot and vegan on. I don't know why you have a comma there in the first place. Um, other than that, it's quite cool. It is quite cool. And then you've got keep calm in capital K and K and C, but then vegan is is small v. Why, why is that? I don't know. There's like a few little improvements there, but other than that, I think it's quite a cool design. Okay, do you want to see a magic trick? I can make this beard disappear. Um, I like the font. I like the beard. And that's about it. Who do you target? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea who you're going to be targeting with this. Uh, uh, you can target people who like beer, you can target all different types of beers maybe, like Carlsberg, um, Corona, Heineken, all these kind of beers. There's probably a whole bunch more. I don't really drink beer, so I'm not that well versed in beer. But I guess I would target people who like specific types of beers. Um, I would centre the top, because you've centred the bottom, I can make this disappear, but you haven't centred the top. It looks a bit like an essay. Um, you want it to be centred... Um, as well as that, I, you think I think everything should be pushed up a bit, just a tad on the design. Um, but other than that, it's pretty solid. I guess uh, I've got a bit of time for this. Okay, you've got another beer one here. Bows, blazers, and beers with what looks like to be a, a wedding engagement ring and a glass of wine, maybe? Water? 
I think this is something to do with a wedding because like bows, maybe bow ties, blazers, like waistcoats and jackets and beers for the alcohol maybe. I don't know. Um, it's all spaced out really horribly. Um, so there's that. In terms of who you're targeting, I guess you could be targeting people who are getting married or whose weddings are up and coming, which you can kind of see on Facebook, I think. Um, other than that, I, I personally, going on to the third criteria of me, like my thoughts and improvements, I wouldn't actually sell this just because I have absolutely no idea who would buy this design. It's very all over the place. You know, like the, 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 the white space under the bows and then above the beers and you've got three fonts and beers is one font, bows is one font, blazers is another font. You've got this small little, what looks like just a, some form of clip art file. The actual design is not very good basically. So. The, the idea of targeting people who have their weddings up and coming is not the worst idea because people can buy for like the whole family coming to the wedding, but this design needs to change. Okay, beware of the Yeti. I think someone has been using Place It because I recognize this character. Um, beware of the Yeti. This is a cute design. I would change the color of Beware of the Yeti to the same color as the framing color of the actual Yeti, this dark navy blue. Um, Mm. It's a cool design. It doesn't look like you've changed much with it though. It looks like it's just some generic thing on place that you want to kind of edit it and make it a bit unique. Um, but other than that, who you're targeting, this is the problem I have with this design. It's, I have absolutely no idea who you're targeting. You're targeting Yeti people? Are you, I mean, who? Who, who are you targeting? Who, who's going to buy this? Like, you have got to think about who is going to buy the t-shirt at the end of the day. The most important part of selling t-shirts is who is going to be your customer. If you can't think about who your customer is, then don't make the design. Like, this is a cool design and I like the design, but I wouldn't wear it because it just like, it's so random. I don't care about Yetis. What? I mean, just random. So you've got to really think about who's going to buy your design. Right, moving on to space sex. I think this guy is, he said, I remember this, I forgot what he said, but he said his ads got banned on Facebook because of inappropriate things, uh, that makes sense. Um, I think he might be taking the mic, or not the mic, but but targeting people who like NASA and SpaceX, um, those kind of things, and, and coming up with this space sex. <sighs> Look. If you want to keep this design, if you're very into your design, then move the whole thing up so it's higher to the neck. At the moment, it's like on the belly. Um, it's a really weird design. Um, I don't, I don't get the whole SpaceX kind of thing. I don't know anyone that would want to wear this. Um, I think it's funny with SpaceX. If you wrote SpaceX without the S E. That could be funny with the picture because then people could see from the picture at space x but then they could read it space sex however i don't know how legal it will be to use the word space x that could be taken by you know elon musk but other than that yeah i mean it's, it's, it's a cool picture of the moon you've got a little little, little rocket there but i just i don't know who you target do you talk people who like sex Targeting people who like nasa are not going to wear this Targeting people who like spacex i'm not going to wear this because you're going to have just normal people who don't want to wear people having sex on their t-shirts who like NASA. So it's a bit difficult there. Okay, Tokyo, Japan. This is quite a cool one. Um, I, I don't, I, I mean, I guess you could target people who are in Tokyo or who, who, who are from Tokyo. Um, I think the design is really cool. I love the red with the Tokyo and the Japan written down the middle. That's a really, really cool design. I like these little clouds. I think that's really, really, really funky. I quite like it actually. Um, again, it's a bit over my head who you would target. If you already have an audience, then this is brilliant. If you don't have an audience, this looks more like a design where it's like super dry, right? Where it's more of a brand name and you have this big brand name and you don't need to worry so much about the actual targeting. Here, I don't think you have that. And this is gonna be very difficult to actually target because it's not really niche specific. You can't just target the whole of Tokyo, the whole of Japan. Um, and you can't really target Japanese people in this country, so in your country, so it's a bit of a difficult one, this one. I do like the design though, the design is very cool. Okay, no shirt, no shoes, no mask, no service. Okay, um, the idea is clever, 
for people in like the service industry, um, like, you know, waiters, waitresses, that kind of stuff. The font is awful. The colors are awful. And the fact that they all have a drop shadow. Why do the letters words all have drop shadows? You shouldn't have a drop shadow on a word on a t-shirt unless it's like, because you haven't just added a drop shadow. You've added a, an, um, an, an emboss. It looks like you've done this on Photoshop and you've added a deboss or an emboss on the words and a drop shadow so the words are really sticking out of the shirt it looks like it's just floating there it's awful and i don't know why you've gone from blue to red is that i think it could be something to do with politics in america i remember the email saying something about that maybe if it is and it's over my head i apologize um and i do like the idea of no shirt no shoes no mask no service just just change the font and change the the design a bit the actual phrase is quite clever Okay, sawdust is man is man glitter. This is cool. Um, this is actually not a bad design. I would move it up a bit. Okay, everyone seems to have this problem of when they use place it, they just kind of plonk their designs on and they don't actually place it. <laughs> you need to actually place the design on the shirt. Um, so move it up a tiny bit. Otherwise, again, it's just on the belly button. You could target people in the building industry. Um, you know, the do it yourself DIY kind of guys. Um, the handyman. This is quite a cool design, actually. Sawdust is man is man glitter, or should it be sawdust is man's glitter? Hmm. Not so sure, but I do think the design is quite cool, and the targeting is there. You can target people in these all different industries, so that's very very cool. The only improvements I would say is move it up a bit, and maybe just think a bit more about the about the actual lettering of it, and also the blade. Cut a bit more of the blade away so that the whole thing can move up because you don't need to be showing that much of the blade. What you could even do, and I just thought of this, could be quite a nice idea, is you could have half of the blade on the top, have the writing in the middle and half of the blade on the bottom. That could be quite cool. Try that out. This is quite cool. I remember the email here. He said this t-shirt is covering everything that happens in 2020 that was bad. So you've got Corona, you've got the fires in Australia, you've got, I don't, he said World War III, three because of the rockets but i don't there wasn't a world war three so i don't understand maybe he's talking about a global pandemic which is like world war three maybe um do i like this design well a few issues with it um firstly the corona thing at the top is really cool graphic it's quite good you've got a mixture of a silhouette with a very childish looking 2020 sucks font you've then got this really high proper high quality graphic of corona with fire and then you've got some clip art rockets. So who's your audience? Are your audience kids? Are your audience adults? Are your audience like, what's going on here? You've got so many colors, so many styles of graphics. You've just got to really dial down your design a bit. And then I don't know who you're targeting with this. Are you targeting the world here? Um, personally, I don't like to profit off of, you know, bad situations. And you've just listed every bad situation in 2020. So I don't, Personally, like that so much. Yeah, I just, I'm sorry, I don't see this design. I'm going to move on because I, I don't even know who you would target with this. The whole world, basically. I'm moving on. Right. This will be the last one. It's been 14 minutes. This will be the last last one we, we discussed in this episode. Um, this is a face mask. It's a alien face mask. And they are saying, peace. This is quite funny. I kind of like it because, you know, people can relate. However, I don't know who you're going to target here. Um, I don't know who your audience is. If you're just uploading it to Redbubble and I can recognize this person's face, this is a Redbubble uh, model. So if it's just on Redbubble and you're basing it just on tags, then by all means, if you're trying to run ads or a niche specific Instagram page, I don't see how this will work because I mean, is your page about aliens? Maybe, I guess it could be about aliens. People who like aliens will follow you. It won't work with actual ads though. Um, but in terms of the design, yeah, the design is quite cool. I'm going to give you that. I kind of like it. Would I wear it on my face? No, but I do kind of like it. Right. That is it for this episode. I hope you liked this episode. I think this was episode three or four. I don't remember anymore, but if you want to get involved, the link is in the description, hit the link. It will take you to a page where you can sign up and then submit your artwork for this review, for this critique, and I will be able to review it in future episodes. So again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in tomorrow's video.